so we'll, we'll continue now with Bushra. Um, Bushra is, um, as I said, from Morocco, but lives in Paris. And a lot of her work's to do with uh, uh, clandestine migrations and mapping cl clandestine migrations. So, Bushra. Uh, hello. Could you hear me? Yes. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm Bushra Khalili. Um, I'm from Morocco. Uh, I was born in Casablanca and raised between Casablanca and Paris, and I currently live in Paris, which doesn't mean necessarily that I work in Paris, because uh, basically most of my video pieces uh, are produced in various countries uh, in the Mediterranean area. And in particular, these last years uh, in Spain, Morocco, Palestine, Italy, and um, I hope in a few months in Greece. Um, basically, I work mainly with uh, video, <clears throat> both single channels and video installations. Um, for this uh, presentation, I'm going to show you a short, few short uh, excerpts of uh, videos that I made this past four years, uh, from 2006 to 2009. Um, and um, those uh, accepts concern uh, specifically two projects. I'm still working on these two projects. One uh, is named the Straight Stories uh, Project. The other one, the Mapping Journey Project. Uh, Iniva is exhibiting three videos uh, uh, of the Mapping Journey Project for this show, for uh, uh, whose map is it? Um, well, um, I'm going to start with a short uh, excerpt of Straight Stories Part 1, uh, which has been made in 2006 between uh, the north of Morocco and the south of Spain. Uh, from 2002 to 2006, I worked uh, uh, intensively in Morocco and south of Spain as well, uh, making research and trying to follow uh, the migratory roads in this area. So I produced uh, pieces in Tangier, Chefchaouen, which is uh, in the north of Morocco, Becher in the south of Spain, Tarifa in the south of Spain, Algeciras in the south of Spain, et cetera, et cetera. And in 2006, uh, I decided to explore more, uh, maybe deeply, or at least I hope deeply, um, another aspect of uh, the, let's say, the contemporary migratory world, which concerned more um, the imaginary representations uh, that exist at the same time than the physical geography. Uh, more concretely, uh, for this project, uh, I filmed the Strait of Gibraltar. As you know, the Strait uh, of Gibraltar separates Africa and Europe. Uh, it's a border, it's a concrete and uh, physical border, uh, a 14 kilometers border, uh, which has been under the, intensively under the focus of the media these last 15 years for a very precise region, uh, reason, sorry, which is that uh, a whole continent <laughs> is trying to cross this border. Uh, from uh, the extreme south of Africa to Morocco, including uh, Algeria and sometimes also Tunisia. Uh, actually, today it has changed, this last uh, five years, but I will maybe talk uh, a little bit more about this later, if we have time. Uh, so for this project, what I decided is exploring the geography of uh, this space. Uh, that I looked at, uh, um, at as more uh, a labyrinth than uh, a border as it uh, modeled or shaped uh, in, the, in the atlas of geography. Uh, so what I tried to do is film, filming it, um, blurring, and trying to dissolve um, all uh, that can make recognize each side. Actually, when you look at the video, you can make... You, you can't make any difference between south of Spain and north of Morocco. It just looks like the same country. There's no difference. Uh, and I also try to um, intensify the circular uh, aspect, this geographical and circular aspect of this border, while uh, at the same time, um, I make here four interviews 
with uh, four people. Two of them live uh, in Spain, the two others in Morocco. Uh, one of them is from Argentina. Uh, she's an immigrant uh, in the south of Spain. The other one is a Spanish that immigrated to Morocco, uh, which is quite strange, but some people left Spain to, to go to live to Morocco. Uh, the third one is a young Moroccan man that left Morocco five years uh, before we, we, we met. And the last one uh, is a young Moroccan boy, um, about 17 years old, uh, that was, uh, at that time, uh, preparing himself to leave Morocco. When we met, uh, he, uh, he was fina finalizing, yes, his strategy and plan to leave uh, illegally Morocco. And of course, I knew it, uh, that he was going to leave Morocco in a few days. Um, what I'm going to show you now is uh, the part that concerned uh, Rashid, that uh, left Morocco and lived uh, legally uh, in the south of Spain, and trying to explain uh, how you can feel while you're American, living at 14, or about 20 kilometers from your home country, and at the same time, um, you, don't, you don't feel any nostalgia. You're very uh, clear uh, in, your mind, in your mind about your own situation, and at, your t uh, at the same time, you are also very lucid. How would you translate that, Otto Bong? <laughs> I have a private translator today. <laughs> lucid, a clear, yes. a clear vision. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and yeah, at the same time, he has a very, very clear vision about his, uh, his life in Spain. Um, he left uh, also Morocco in an illegal way, so uh, to him it was a very dangerous uh, journey. Um, but I hope uh, that in, in these few words, uh, his own words explaining uh, his life in, in, in Spain, we can also hear that there's no nostalgia and there's no regret, and at the same time it's clear. Um, he didn't leave Morocco uh, expecting to find an Eldorado in Spain. It's much more complex than that. And that's also what I was trying to do with uh, this, uh, this body of, of work, uh, showing also that uh, most of those people didn't leave their country because they were looking for an Eldorado. They just leave because they had to leave uh, their country. Okay, so. I'm going to open my passport. Mi nombre es Rashid, yo he llegado aquí a Bejer en 2001. Bueno, el, eh, llegar aquí es no llegar para disfrutar, es para trabajar. Y Bejer es un pueblo muy pequeño, pero lo que hay de trabajo aquí es eh, trabajo del campo y construcción también. Bueno, se aprovecha cuando hay algo. Y también yo vivo aquí muy cerca de Marruecos. Yo no tengo nada de nostalgia ni nada de eso. La gente de aquí es, bueno, es totalmente diferente de lo que es gente de Marruecos. Aquí gente de, de trabajo también, pero lo que es humano es, existe muy poco. Lo, es, lo que es hospitalización, cosas así, eso no existe aquí. La palabra esa hay que quitarla de lo que es el diccionario de Bejariego. Pero está bien, también se aprende de otro mundo.